Hi everyone, we're showing over here the two planks for the washing machine dryer stand made out of wood. This is the beginning of the setup. Over here we're going to make uh, holes on the 2x3. This is going to be part of the structure for the, for the base. And this is where we're going to drill these holes. It's going to go from the 2x3 into the sideboard. We're going to make sure that it's not, it doesn't come out from the other side. So we're trying to do everything from the inside. We should, so we shouldn't be able to see too much. We shouldn't have any holes from the outside. Here we show. Here I show how I installed the, these pieces of wood. I have this little piece for you to use as a gauge for a gap for the front. So I should want to have all sides even. So I'm going to measure evenly on all sides, so it should be straight. I attached over there on the side the the clamp to hold it in place. And I'm going to screw it into the sideboards. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't come out on the other side. And make sure that the screw is not too long and not too short either. You got to make sure it, it grabs enough of it to be able to hold it together. Same thing with the top. We're going to measure with a gauge to be evenly on all sides, the, the space in the front. And we're putting it into place, screwing it in. And this board is going to be the top of the, of the stand. It's a three quarter inch board. We're going to put the, the base, the rest of the frame, upside down. We'll install, we're going to screw it into the, into the top of the base. And that will keep it in place, and that will be part of this whole structure. Keep it all in one piece. Over here we're going to install some extra pieces of wood. This is to, instead of the L, L brackets, so I made that out of wood. So I pre-drilled these holes so it could go into the right angle, into the wood. I'm going to make sure that the screw is the right size. So we're install I'm installing this to help it from, from shifting to one side. The front doesn't have anything that will keep it in place, like an Allen bracket keeps it in place. The back has a board to keep it in place. So I measured how long the screw will be. And then based on how long the screw is, that's why I decided to make the hole. So it should end up, it should be into the, into the other wood, almost all the way, without coming out on the other side. So we'll put two of these, one on each side. So over here I'm going to cut the grooves for the, for the drawer. We should be able to put in a quarter inch bottom for the drawer. So I'm cutting over a quarter inch groove for all four sides. Trying to show here that it's a quarter inch uh, groove, but I couldn't get the right angle on that. I put two blades together. This equals to a quarter inch. Two eighth in the each blade is an eighth inch. So I put both blades together and then I tighten it up and that equals a quarter inch groove. I got the idea from this old house. So I put together all the woods and the rails to see the difference of how much space I have for the for the other pieces of the drawer. So the 
rest is going to be in the back and the front. Let's see back and front. Measure the difference. How to adjust this. How to adjust the stopping. The stopping thing by the hybrid freight uh, jig. You always check the bottom should be just a little bit over on top of where the end is going to be. So you put in these black these black pieces you put in for a half inch, half inch uh, wood. Uh, the stop is going to be right on top. So put it down till there and just your stop. If you take away these pieces for three quarter inches or bigger, then you go just a little bit over the bottom of the of the end. And then you tighten it, and that's your. That's how you adjust it. So I'm showing over here how I make those holes from the inside. Just showing a few examples. You use flathead screws for these. Now we're going to put together the drawer. The holes are in the back of the drawer, so we shouldn't see it from the inside. This is trying to keep it nice and squared. First I screw it into the hole that's closest to the tool, like this it should be squared by the tool. Then I flip it over and then reattach the tool to make the other side of it straight. And then I screw in the rest of them, so like this it's going to be squared from top to bottom. Here I measured four inches from the bottom for the rail, and in the back, that's the front side, in the back I measured three and seven eighths. So it should be a little bit lower in the back than the front. Like this, when you close the drawer, it'll go back a little bit. The gravity will want to pull it back rather than the drawer wanting to come out in the front. I'm drilling pilot, I'm trying to drill a pilot hole with a screw. That's not the best idea. The best thing would, it would be to just take a regular drill bit and make a regular hole. I was struggling with this for a while till I finally decided to take a drill bit. And the first one might have worked, but the other ones had our time until I gave up. That's after drilling the pilot holes. This is the other part of the rail. This is on the drawer. Make sure I don't go through the whole thing. Just a little bit. This video was recorded a while ago, didn't really talk much in it, I decided to try narrating in this video. Okay, so this is the finished 
base for the washing machine dryer. You got two of them. So I put a face on it in the front handle. This is a half inch. So this is the drawer. You got half in you got half inch all around. I'm gonna put a small half inch board to make it to make the drawer and then I put a face on it. So this is sticking this is blocking the whole thing. So that's the face. So from the back I screwed this shelf. I screwed the face with these screws. And that's how this is holding in. This is a quarter inch wood. Let's drop short. This is the rails. I got the so I got the two rails. This is the inside. This is from the bottom. From the top, this two by four, two by three actually. And then these to keep it going side to side. And this is the end product. So all the so I got the top and the two sides are three quarter inches. I think the back was half inch you need, a, you need a three quarter to support the heavy washer and so this is the end uh, product as I realized I put in a, a little support for the, for the drawer for the bottom of it it shouldn't fall down or anything thanks for watching if you like it please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, it all helps. Thank you, have a good day.